Hey there, welcome back. It's me, Uncle Greg, aka the Free American Spirit. And today, since we got the batteries finally hooked up, we're going to see if we can hook up this uh, lot right here, it won't stay open, bummer, to this trailer. And I'm going to call the wife and then have her turn things on in the trailer, like the microwave and the air conditioner. I know we don't have enough power to run this dryer because I can't get enough on each leg but anyways before I do anything we're gonna disconnect this this uh, power surge this is a 30 amp that goes in my trailer and it's got all kinds of things to see if we get any errors and so I'm just gonna plug it in by itself to see if I get any error codes so let's hear from our sponsors and then we'll be right back to get at it Welcome back everybody, that's right, I sponsor myself, but you know what to do, hit that thumbs up button, share the video, do something in the comments. If you really love us, use that Amazon link to buy anything you want, because it helps us make videos like this. So every once in a while, this is out in the elements, even though it has that little cover on there, you can see that over the last couple of years, it has arced up a little bit, and it has corroded there where some water, even though it's covered, has gotten in there. So I'm going to clean these terminals up real good. And put some of that electric grease on them before we go any further stand by all right kids i just wanted to show you there has been heat on this over the years i'll probably wind up replacing this end but for now those prongs seem pretty hard so i think it's just this little bit but i cleaned it up it's a lot better i'll get some electrical grease and put it on there and i just wanted to show you this i'm gonna have a link to this in the description you know i'm glad that i checked this because this got some heat around too so you know when you have damaged electrical stuff you need to replace it so I'm going to use it a couple days until the new one comes in I'll have a link for it but these are really great I mean they're I don't think they're made to use 24 hours a day seven days a week like I've been using it for the last couple years you can see how it's sun faded or whatnot you know they're really made when you travel you plug it into a park but these are all the error codes that it, that it protects against and tells you what's going on so if you had a problem you would know you know if you're at a park and you say hey you got low voltage or whatever the case may be um so they're really worth their money they're expensive i think that one back when i bought it a couple of years ago was 250 bucks uh, they make a 50 amp one but when i get this done now that i know everything runs i'll mount this box over here then the new one We'll connect here and then the trailer wire will go outside and you know and i'll be able to plug it or take it outside through a little access door and that way on the days that for whatever reason i have no um power left i could always if i wanted to take the trailer unplug it from that box and then plug it back into the post so we'll see how that works out but you know if you see damaged equipment like this just replace it even though i cleaned it up and it and it works good you know it's not worth taking the chance all right we've got the trailer wire hooked up let's turn it back on everything is going good yay so right now we show going out to the house we got 12 percent going to the trailer right now you see that the 12 percent now 16 percent 17 percent so it's fluctuating around i know the wife has got the tv on there are things going back online like you know the alarm system the uh computers you know the internet box all that kind of stuff is powering back up you know so you see it switch around there as things are going on so bear with me, let me get my wife on the phone, and I'll have her put some stuff on. Alright, we're back guys. I'm going to get as close as I can to this meter. i got my wife standing by the air conditioner. I'm going to tell her to turn it on, so we should hear the fan, or we should see the fan go on by the increase in percentage, and then when the compressor kicks on. Turn it on, Rick. Okay, so the, so the fan just kicked on. It jumped up to 22.0%. Honey, you go stand over by the microwave. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, uh, there it goes. 
the compressor just kicked on. Now we're using 40% of our available power. All right, are you at the micro? Are you at the microwave? Hit the microwave and let me know when it's on. So the microwave is running. Now we just jumped up to 65.8% of our power. Okay, so we're still charging our batteries a little bit, which is good. We're using 40%. So now we got the microwave running and the air conditioner running. Now this air conditioner is a 20 amp air conditioner. So we're fluctuating between 67 and whatever. What else can we turn on in there? You got the TV on, right? And we got the uh, alarm systems on. Uh, I don't have anything else like what's on? Uh, well, I am yeah, Amazon's not going to do much. All right, so while that's on, so hold on a minute. So I can, I got to put the phone down. So while that's on, I will turn on this. Oh, it's already on too. Yeah, it's hot. So right now I've got, I've got the thing going for the dehydrator. The air conditioner's still running, right? Yeah. Yeah, go put it, plug in your hair cooler. Let me turn on this light over here. Okay, when you put your hair cooler on, put it on low. You got the hair cooler on? Or hair dryer? What do you got on? Okay, so you got the hair cooler on. That didn't make much of a difference. Put the put the hair dryer on and put it on low okay so you got the hair dryer on low right so now we are using the batteries I don't have enough solar just for it's not charging the batteries it's using both so now put the hair dryer on high okay so let me recap here I got this light on I got the dehydrator on you got the TV on we got the alarms on the microwave is running, the air conditioner is running, your curl iron is running, and your hair dryer is on high. Is that correct? What? Yeah. So, you know, it's kicking some butt, and the batteries are charging still. So everything's still running, right? But something just went off. Turn it back on. So right now... I'm using solar and battery. So, what time is it here? It's about, is it like 10 o'clock in the morning? The sun's not all the way out? Not all the way up? So, what this tells me is if I had all these loads running all the time, you know, I'd have to have a couple more panels probably. But go ahead and turn your hair dryer off. Okay, hair dryer's off. Okay, now it's charging. It's looking good charging and using that's what the air conditioner on so basically the way we are in the trailer the coffee pots going the alarms going you're watching TV your microwave is going your air conditioner is going plus I'm using this dehydrator plus I have the light on out here and it is making enough juice where it's charging the batteries and supplying all that so I would call that kind of a success so thank you Yay, so thank you for your help, sweetheart. Just just leave everything running. I want to watch it for a while. All right, bye. Well, kids, there you have it. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, make a comment about what's going on here, share the video for me, use that Amazon link to buy anything you want to buy because it costs you nothing and helps us with videos like that. See ya.